Hi guys, it's Asa Cortez. Okay, I want to outro and, and boythly hope that I got I got inspired by uh, Tiffany, Mommy Tiffy. I will put her link down below, guys. She is one of my favorite. I saw she outro the and boythly hope. I have been, you know, guys, wanting to do this for a long, long time since I saw her. Um, outro this type of her daughter. And I thought it was, it's kind of, you know, I, you know, I thought it was really expensive, but when I went to the Hobby, Ho Hobby Lobby a couple days ago, this is the bigger size here, the egg, number egg here, the size 8, one, only 129 for one, and on the medium size is um, 99 cent, and then the smaller one is 99 cent, okay, so... Not bad for three, huh? I thought this might cost like five or six dollars for each. Or like, oh, what I have really expensive one, maybe um, the plastic or something. I'm not sure. About, I don't use those. You know, I did use this for the layout. So I'm going to. I'm not sure. I um, I think I'm going to paint in wire acrylic paint. I'm going to use the hot glue around here. Make sure this stay uh, together. I'm not sure it's gonna. F I just don't want it to fall it apart, guys. That's it, my main reason. Well, you're not gonna fall apart, I guess. We're gonna going to um, your designer paper. Huh? No, okay, I'm going to paint in wire acrylic paint. So I will have to speed up the video so you guys don't have to watch me doing this. I'm gonna use it with my white acrylic paint so I will be right back guys after I paint all of this okay Okay guys, now time to select the paper that I'm going to use the ledger paper pad from Prima here. So we're going to, um, this one it not double sided or single sided. So I'm going to use this, uh, that color, the green yellow there. Choose three color that I'm going to use. I'm going to use this one. This is the yellow one. So, and I think that it. Not really sure it's two is enough or not, ladies. But I think one is right there. Not really sure. Yeah, I think it's too enough for the backing. And now we're going to draw on the back so that I can cut. Um, this one I'm going to use 
And we need that one of the big piece and I'm thinking this one and that one. Let's see, I'm going to draw this one on the back. So you guys on the Christmas, you guys gonna go anywhere or celebrate at home? So that one gonna be that one. We should have time for the small one there. I I'm thinking, guys. You know. Me. Oh, maybe this one right there. I'm not really sure. This one gonna be the end. I'm not gonna see any way to I'm gonna um do it and then cover with Cody um picture anyway, right? So on the back of Boss we hope gonna be plain white. Sorry even off the camera. I'm gonna move my camera down a little bit so you can see. That one there and this one to cut this one. I'll be right back with this.
Okay guys, up the um the the my pot dry. I'm gonna trim it off and sand on the edge down. Uh, I just cut the embossed hook the part of it. I'm just gonna cut a little bit the one it the uh, overlap there stick out too much. Now I'm going to use this, um, you can use any sandpaper that you have, I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to smooth all the edges of my paper here. Remember you have to sand out, if you sand up you're gonna, your paper gonna pop out. And I'll be right back ladies, okay? Okay guys, up. so is this too yellow or too green? As you know guys, we can uh, watch the color down by pen. You know this, my acrylic pen and I add more water to thin down the pen though guys. I don't like to take, okay. Same thing when you um buy the paper let's like to to bold color like you did. Oh my god, I don't know what to do with that. You the same thing guy you did wash the color guys the paint away guys if too much you just you know see it's kinda torn down the color guys hmm. and I'm going to do this a little bit not too much that one is kinda a little bit too wet one okay and I'm going to let this one dry this one apparently is too wet so this one is okay I'll be right back ladies okay guys I'm back I'm going to use my distressor to here this I the photo mat that I did cut the same paper collection as this Get this shed a little bit there. To, I'm making this Cody photo. Oh no, sorry for the infection. So I'm not gonna put his photo on that corner. So this, I'm using this Cody photo. I already um, have adhesive on the back, so now I can peel and adhere to the photo mat. guys never mind don't worry we'll hear back there hopefully
No, that's better. I don't know what else to say to the guys. Sometimes feel like not want to talk at all it is. Nothing new story. So this one that I'm, I want to put Cody photo in that big one and then the small one can be right there. And this one can be uh, right there. This um this here I angle it because I want this one gonna be I want to use the lace for to hang right so I'm using that's why I'm kinda like make sure this the the upper bit that one line up at I want. So I'm going to um use some support this one to make I hear this piece the metal uh the the metal one there, what is it, um, the medium side there. So I'm going to use my, um, I'll be right back ladies. Okay guys, I'm back, I, I hear all the cardboard here to support this one here guys. That, this really like a uh, one egg in cardboard so I have to uh, adhere so many layers so I'm gonna help it support this one here so make sure that I have enough space for the photo right there going to hear the cardboard there. Ow, I got burned lady. So I just gonna lie up make sure this one lie up and I want it lady. Now we need hot glue on it. Why is it a hook? A little bit quiet now. Right there. For this one, I have this um, cardboard to lay it together. So I'm gonna light this one up. Let's see what my, where my photo going to go. Alright, dear.
Now time for lace in flower. I'll be right back with this. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, I didn't finish this layout last night, so it's kind of tired. So I'm just kind of grab my handmade flowers and my flowers. Which one that I want to use for this um, project? I have no idea, guys. Uh, I just, you know. Don't really know. I'm just gonna. I'm not sure I can use this card in here, but I kind of want to layer where everything gonna go. Not really sure that I want to use that pink or this. I don't know, maybe that one a little bit too big. Yeah, I told you guys, it's pink, it's okay for Cody. You won't kill him. <laughs> I'm just gonna see how the color look around his um, photo, okay guys. My puppy spray, I'm not sure that I'm going to use that. I'm going to try to um, I think I'm going to hear photo. The reason I don't want to hear it because I might use some paint later. Does this worry me? I can make a mess. I usually does making a mess sometimes. So, um Anyway, I think I'm going to, um, okay, this first I'm going to use this color, this one, this, so we're going to paint this. See, last night I forgot to wash my brush, my acrylic paint is dry. I actually like to use my acrylic paint and then I add the water to thin down the color. It, it's a, if you don't want to get light too thick, you can you know add water. Okay guys, um, I don't know what to buy my husband uh, Christmas gift here lady. <laughs> he said he didn't want anything, you know. Well, because he, um, when he wants something, he just buy it, that the problem lady. Maybe next time I tell him, you know. If you want to buy something, you want something, hold on for your Christmas, uh, Christmas or your birthday so I can buy for you. <laughs> don't buy it otherwise I don't have anything, you know, don't know what to buy for you. <laughs> right ladies? Can you dip up?
not sure I'm going to use that one, but that's it. I'm going to use, I'm going to try to lay the, now put the photo in there, I don't want to move it. 